Welcome to our tutorial on nonlinear circuits. In this video, we'll explore the fundamental concepts of nonlinear circuits, understand how they differ from linear circuits, and examine their components and applications. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a solid understanding of what nonlinear circuits are and how they work. So, let's get started. First, let's understand what a nonlinear circuit is. A nonlinear circuit is one that contains at least one nonlinear element. But what does nonlinear mean? In simple terms, it means that the relationship between voltage and current in these circuits is not a straight line when plotted on a graph. This is different from linear circuits, where the voltage current relationship is a straight line and the parameters, such as resistance, remain constant regardless of the voltage or current. In nonlinear circuits, the parameters change with the voltage or current. This change causes the voltage current relationship to be more complex and not directly proportional. For example, in a linear resistor, doubling the voltage would double the current. But in a nonlinear element, like a diode, the relationship between voltage and current is not that straightforward. Now, let's talk about the different types of nonlinear elements. These elements are the key components that make a circuit nonlinear. Some common nonlinear elements include First, diodes. Diodes allow current to flow in only one direction. They have a nonlinear voltage current relationship, meaning the amount of current that flows through a diode depends on the applied voltage in a nonlinear way. Second, transistors. Transistors, such as bipolar junction transistors, or BJT, junction field effect transistors, or JFET, and metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors, or MOSFET, are semiconductor devices used to amplify or switch electronic signals. Their operation is inherently nonlinear. Third, other semiconductor devices, there are various other components, like Zener diodes and light emitting diodes, or LEDs, which also exhibit nonlinear characteristics. The reason these elements are considered nonlinear is that they do not obey Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that voltage, or V, is equal to current, or I, times resistance, or R. In nonlinear elements, this simple relationship does not hold true because their resistance varies with the applied voltage or current. To better understand nonlinear circuits, let's look at a simple example. Here, we have a circuit diagram that includes a voltage source, or V, a resistor, or R, and a diode. This is a typical nonlinear circuit. The voltage source provides the driving voltage. The resistor is used to limit the current in the circuit. The diode is the nonlinear element. When we apply a voltage to the circuit, the diode initially does not conduct any current until the voltage exceeds a certain threshold. For a silicon diode, this threshold is typically around 0.7 volts. Once the voltage exceeds this threshold, the diode starts to conduct, and the current through the circuit increases rapidly with a small increase in voltage. Now, let's discuss the voltage current characteristics of a nonlinear circuit. On the right side of the screen, you'll see a graph showing these characteristics. The horizontal axis represents voltage, or V, and the vertical axis represents current, or I. At low voltages, the current is almost zero because the diode is not conducting. This is the flat part of the curve near the origin. As the voltage increases and surpasses the threshold, the current starts to increase rapidly. This part of the curve is steep, showing a sharp rise in current with a small increase in voltage. This nonlinear relationship between voltage and current is what defines the behavior of nonlinear circuits. Nonlinear circuits and their components are widely used in various electronic applications. Here are a few examples. First, rectifiers. Diodes are used in rectifiers to convert alternating current, or AC, to direct current, or DC. Second, signal processing. Transistors are used in amplifiers to increase the power of signals and in switches to control electronic signals. Third, voltage regulation, Zener diodes are used to maintain a constant voltage level in power supplies. These applications leverage the unique properties of nonlinear components to perform specific functions that linear components cannot achieve. To summarize, nonlinear circuits contain elements whose parameters change with voltage or current, resulting in a nonlinear voltage current relationship. These circuits do not follow Ohm's law, and understanding their behavior is crucial for designing various electronic devices. By grasping the fundamentals of nonlinear circuits, 
you can better understand and design complex electronic systems. Thank you for watching this tutorial on nonlinear circuits. We hope you now have a better understanding of what makes a circuit nonlinear and how these circuits operate. If you have any questions or want to learn more, please leave a comment or check out our other tutorials. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. See you next time.